Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, we're gonna create tracking links within Kartra, so let's just hop straight into it. Now, I'm assuming you have products set up and pages set up and all that type of stuff, and now you're ready to run ads or send links and emails and get traffic to your pages and your products. So let's just go straight into My Products, and we wanna to go to Tracking, and you wanna go ahead and likely create a new tracking link by clicking the green button in the bottom right-hand corner. And then we go ahead and name our link. Now I recommend naming your link the name of the page you're sending your traffic to. So for example, if I'm sending them to my squeeze page for a particular lead magnet, I'd go ahead and call it like squeeze page for, I don't know, free funnels. So let's pretend I have a squeeze page giving away free funnels. That's what I'd call my tracking link name. And then category, I recommend creating a category for the source of traffic. So if that's like Facebook or Instagram, or maybe it is email or something along those lines. So whatever source your traffic is coming through, that's what I would name the category. So let me create a new category and let me just call it Facebook. Pretend like I'm gonna be sending traffic from Facebook and done. Select my category, Facebook, next. And then we need to select the type of URL we're gonna use. So if you're using Kartra tracking on WordPress or another system, you could go ahead and use an external URL or your own products. And I'm not actually sure what this does exactly. So I guess this is direct links to products if you have order form pages. And then Kartra pages, which is likely what you wanna do is take somebody to a sales page or in my case right now, a squeeze page. So let's go ahead and find my squeeze page. And let's come on down, we got squeeze page A, hit next. And then do I wanna track clicks only or do I wanna track clicks and goals? Well, I wanna track clicks and goals, right? I wanna see who's opting in. So all opt-ins or the opt-ins on the particular squeeze page, hit add. I wanna see if they're buying something. So let's see if they lead into a purchase here. So it's just like my funnel. I wanna see if they're buying my book at any price add can select a bunch of different purchases see how they're doing throughout my whole funnel so we'll track my membership or my bump as well any price add and so on so you could add multiple purchase events i'm not going to add them all because i think you understand the concept and we'll hit next and now do we want to go ahead and add tags or not add tags to people that click these links so if you have somebody on your list in Kartra and you want to go ahead and tag them when they click on a link you could go ahead and set that up right here I'm not going to do that because I'm using cold traffic on Facebook and it doesn't really make sense to tag people but if you want to use tags you could do that next all right now we have the opportunity to use tracking IDs or not use tracking IDs I recommend using tracking IDs and we'll hit create and right here we have our tracking link so I'm going to copy it and I'm gonna bring it into a notepad document. Let me open up a new notepad. And let's examine this link real quick. So this is our tracking link, and you'll notice that we have these two values right here, tracking ID one and tracking ID two, and then CPC, so cost per click. So we could assign a cost per click if we know that amount. So you could pretend, or if you know what it is, you could assign a, a value. So I'll just say 50 cents cost per click, and then for the tracking IDs, this is where you'd wanna go ahead and designate where these links are hosted. So for instance, we have, we know that they're taking people to the squeeze page. We know that this is coming from Facebook because that's the category I place them in. So some other things we might want to track is like the campaign name, right? So the campaign, campaign, where we're sending this traffic through. And then inside of a campaign, we have ad sets and ads. Now it'd be nice if they had a couple of tracking IDs so you could go more levels deep, but they don't offer that currently. So what I typically do is just do the ad set name and then the ad ID in that ad set. So this is what my tracking link would look like. It'd go with campaign and then I'd have the ad set and the ad name right here. So, and then the cost per click is five cents. So let me just plop this in to my browser here, visit the page by clicking on this link. All right, so there we go. So now we have some tracking data. Let me close this out of here and refresh. 
And now we can go ahead and check out how this data is coming through into Kartra. And then you can kind of decide how you want to use your categories, your tracking IDs, and so on for your particular situations. So here's the name. So squeeze page, all my traffic coming to the squeeze page. If I click this little plus icon, I see that it's campaign one. So that's the campaign that I have in Facebook, for example. And then if I click this open, we see that we have ad set one and then add one. So if you have add another ad, it'd be add two, add three, add four, etc. If you have multiple ad sets, you'd have ad set one, two, three, four, etc. and so on. You can kind of see that I have some stuff going on here. I guess I had set up some other examples at one point in time using the squeeze page where I had entrepreneurship add one. So this was my entrepreneurship ad set. And then I had a add one and then I had a small business ad set add one and you can track how well your links are doing this way you can also come up to all categories so if you just want to see how well your Facebook traffic is doing you click on here and you see squeeze page free funnels campaign ad set ad and so on so that's how you could go ahead and set up your tracking links inside of Kartra it's pretty cool stuff gives you a lot of information it's really cool when you have people buying and opting in you get all sorts of data going on in here and you can really analyze which links are producing traffic for you and that's all I have to say about the link tracking the main thing is figuring out how you want to go ahead and use your tracking ID 1 and tracking ID 2 again I recommend in case of Facebook using your campaign name for ID 1 and then ad set and ad for ID 2 but if you're doing like email or something along those lines, you might have your automation name right here, automation name as your tracking ID one, and then your tracking ID two, you might have email one, and then you might have link two or whatever. Like if you have multiple links in your email and you wanna track which link is getting those clicks, then that's how you could go ahead and separate things out. If you don't wanna do cost per click, you can just delete that out of there. If you don't want tracking ID 2 for some reason, you can delete it out of there and it won't take it into account. So that's how you use tracking links in Kartra. Go have fun with it.